learned something this this entire weekend that um, I I had to ask God um, what what's going on? I had to ask Him why why are we as a people in existence if we have to um, if we have to sin if we have to break Your commandments. If we have to, if we have to suffer, why, why are we here? Why, when we were, why in the beginning, when Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge, he just didn't um, destroy the entire world? Why, why didn't he do it? And then my mom said, well, he, he did, but Noah and the ark, they got on the ark, and then that's when, we, you know, I said, I don't want to, I don't want to break God's commandments. And I don't, I don't want to sin, and I don't want to do these things. I don't want to end up in hell. I, I don't want to. But he said to me that certain things have to happen right now. And he said, now, because he said, you are in a generation, the, the terminal generation, the end generation. <laughs> and and he took me to the book of uh, Matthew 20, 24, when they asked him, they said, as he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, his disciples came to him privately and said, tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and, and of the end of the age? Because I asked God, when, 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 when will the world end? When will, when will this happen? And he said, well, we're in the terminal. The, the generation and this is where the wars and the, the earthquakes are going to this, this is happening the, the hunger, the people who are hungry the famine the famine <laughs> and he said we, we, we can't pray these things off it's something that we, we can't pray off like I don't don't if war can't come now, no, it's coming now. It's gonna, it's gonna happen, because it has to happen. He said to me, "It's not only is it about keeping my commandments." He said, "What is it about is how many souls can you save?" He said, "How many souls?" Can you say, what more can you leave on this earth before your time ends? Jesus. Jesus. He said, how many souls can you save, Brenda? What can you do? Because when I come, I'm taking every soul that confesses my name, Jesus, 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 he said, it got to happen, yes, you will sin, yes, you will sin, Yes, commandments will be broken. But do you believe in me? And he said, it's not about preaching to the saints anymore. It's about preaching to those who do not believe in me. I'm talking atheists. Atheists, people who, who, who don't even think about me. They know that I, he, know, he said, atheists, people who don't believe in me, they know that I exist. Because if I didn't exist, we wouldn't even know who God was. The name God wouldn't even be here but he said that those people that are unable to reach how many souls can you get before your time and so we all can hear that good and faithful servant have any kids because I don't I don't want them to suffer 
even in the Bible, he said during these times, he said, woe to the, to the, you know, the, to the women who's, who's, you know, birthing and because he knows that it's a time, a terminal time and the babies, they, they can't deal with it. I said, I don't want to have kids because they're going to have to suffer because we're going to have to suffer. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to suffer. And it's nothing, nothing we can do about it. Nothing. But I was, I was sitting right there. And when she said a word, and I said, I don't, don't want to prophesy to nobody. But he said, the people that you've been praying for, watch my prayers manifest in their life. He said, keep praying. And watch my prayers manifest in their life. And he said, the things that you're worrying about, stop worrying. He said, just keep praying. Confess my name. And I'll do everything, everything you want me to do. 